where all of the faces are squares. That means our dimensions, our length, our width, and our height are all the same. On this cube, they're all worth about two inches. We want to find the volume of our cube. The volume is the amount of space occupied by that object. We can also think of volume as how much it takes to fill that object. Let's use the dimensions of our cube and build it again so we can see how many we need. Well, since our base is a two by two square, we are gonna build a two by two square. So that means we're gonna use a total of four cubes. Since our height is two inches, that means we need to make it two layers tall. So there's another four cubes. So when we combine it to make our cube, we have four cubes plus four cubes to give us a total of eight cubes. That means our volume is about eight cubic inches. Since volume is a three-dimensional measurement, we abbreviate it to the third power and it's red as cubic. Let's look at what we did mathematically to put together a formula. First, we found the area of our base. That's side times side, since this is a square. Then we multiplied it by our height. Since the height is the same as our side length, that's another times side. Multiplication is commutative, so we don't need those parentheses. So volume is simply side times side times side. Using exponents, we can shorten that to volume is side cubed. So when we find the volume of any cube, we can think of it as solving side length to the third power or simply finding side cubed. Let's use our formula to find the volume of this cube. Our formula is volume is side cubed. Here we can see on this cube that each of our sides is worth seven feet. So that means into our formula, we can substitute that seven. So we're finding volume is seven cubed. Seven to the third power means I need to multiply seven times seven times seven. Seven times seven gives me 49. So then I need to do 49 times seven. 49 times seven gives me 343. So my volume comes out to be 343, but it needs a label. Seven is labeled in feet. That's going to be 343 feet. And since volume is a three dimensional measurement, that's going to be to the third power. So we would read that as the volume of this cube is 343 cubic feet. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,